enjoy Dragon Rising Season 2, the final episode of this season. And honestly, it's a great episode. All the other elemental masters without the elemental powers are fighting the wolf clan or whatever they're called. Either way, they're fighting them. Of course, none of them have the elemental powers, but they still have the shat spin and stuff like that. So they're kind of most like mostly helpless. So they're struggling against it because they're not used to fighting, you know, fist fights and used to fight using their powers to get do it. The thing is, throughout this whole fight, Roz still says no one betrays him, and well, it they do say, oh well, we proved that wrong. She's still so confident, but like nothing went wrong, but it goes wrong in the end anyway. I just like that that he's. Uh, beginning to be more like downfall and all that. The film and vibe are still an interesting thing and I can't wait to see more of them. It also begs the question if there's more to these wolf masks it's actually nice because the idea was so simple and they keep using the same thing so if there's more of them they can upgrade their powers and all that a bit more. Of course it's still being controlled but I wonder if in season 3 we're going to explore more of the wolf masks and more of that unrevealed power. Either way, Raz ends up taking Roby and tells him to go and chase them to the monastery because only the Game Master can take back their powers that Nox has taken. So they go after Nox and her sister to the monastery where they're trying to free the Forbidden Five. On the way to the monastery, Nox and his sister, who's possessing Jordana, end up seeing Nia and Zayn and Aaron. Jordana ends up holding them off while Aaron chases Nox and well it doesn't really end well for Aaron he ends up falling but Nox ends up going there and obviously begin the ritual to free the Forbidden Five. Aaron ended up using Spin Jitsu from Braz's techniques and well he ends up hitting Nox with his Spin Jitsu and then obviously Lord Raz ends up hitting him and then after that, Nox ends up free in the Forbidden Five, but they're still alive, but they're completely drained, so he can't really help. Even not sister, but was potential Dana is still complete is feeling the drainingness of it. Then Nox ends up going on this whole fight against everyone. Like he's one v one in everyone right now. He's completely destroying them. One, they rely too much on their powers most of the time, to be fair. So they have to fight the fist, which they don't really do much of the time. But either way, he's destroying all of them with their own powers, with different people's powers, their friends' powers. Aaron, Lloyd ends up knowing that Aaron learns the perfect spinjitsu, and then Lloyd kind of says, not from you. He's still being this way, let's be honest, it's really annoying. But if you like it, you like it. I actually do like not. His fighting style is really cool. I think this fight was definitely uh, Season Two's probably best fight, personally, my opinion, personally, of course. This fight goes on for probably a solid two minutes or something, maybe even longer. I don't know what goes on a lot of the episodes. This episode personally has a lot of fights in it. Well, a lot of main big fights anyway. And while everyone's focused on not because there's not really the rest called free and free and five with all of them free Nia and Ryu try and free Kai which ends up being a success and Kai is the only one there who has his power so technically he's the only threat to not he does do some damage to not all his rising dragon and his powers but at the end of the day not does everything he completely crushes Kai and he's about to completely well, win and destroy everyone there, in my opinion. Uh, Roby ends up actually coming in the head clutch. Literally the one time I'm going to say that. I don't mind his character, to be fair. But either way, he comes in clutch. And he actually takes away Not's powers. And then ends up doing his whole thing. Returning his powers to everyone. And with that being said, the, the fight happening at the thing earlier. Everyone gets the power back from that. So Tox, the Miss Pale and all that and Nuru, they end up fighting back and defeating the Wolf Mask because they're evenly matched now. Kind of evenly matched. Not ends up retreating but not before taking Raz with him. 
And for some reason, Eren decides to follow Raz because why not follow Raz while the Familiar Five are actually holding him? Anyway, it's a whole heart thing, and Lloyd and so are sad that Eren got lost and all that. Near the end of the episode, it's also revealed that Kai and Nia will be going on a journey to try and knock some sense into Jay to hopefully find him back. I can't wait to see where that leads, honestly. Because I'm a big Jay fan, personally. And it's also revealed that the Source Dragon gives Lloyd this, like, thing um, that can summon her one time. So, she's going to be back in a future episode, episode, future season. It could be next season. It could be another season before that. We will have to see. But that she can be summoned one time. Maybe the Source Dragon is three. The thing that can help Jay get his goodness back. Who's to say? They are big ranger roles. So maybe that is it. And honestly. The, the season kind of ends. On Aaron. Uh, telling Roz that he's the only one he can trust now. And the ninja let him down. And the master let him down. Everyone let him down or whatever. I really just hate this whole Eren arc. I'm going to be personally honest. I don't really like the new characters that much also well. But maybe that's because I just grew up on the ninja. But I'm more like thinking of them. But it just feels like he's being an old school. Like Kai season 1 person. And then his own thoughts get to his head. I'm hoping it's not going to be like a thing where he's like the whole next season. He's just against ninja. And then even the season after that he hates the ninja. If it's next season, I'm hoping the first half, it's resolved. But we'll have to see. Probably won't be, knowing how writers normally do stuff. By the way, this episode was a 10 out of 10, even if there are some down points for it.